happy Saturday to you. If you're watching this and it is Saturday, then happy Saturday. If you're joining us from the US, then you're still on Friday. So happy Friday. I hope you have an exciting weekend planned. Um, John and I have just been next door having a little sticky beak because they got an open house. And we've literally started our next um, house and pet seat yesterday. We had a massive um, storm with lots and lots of rain. And uh, we actually had a power cut for a couple of hours yesterday evening as well, which was um, quite romantic because we had to dig for candles and we took out our battery powered fairy lights and uh, we cooked by candlelight. And luckily this place has a gas stove. So we were able to cook dinner and have a, a nice dinner. And that's always fun because, you know, you're not familiar with the house yet. And, you know, the, the Mika, the dog, is was fine. She was pretty comfortable. And that's really, you know, our main, main concern when we're looking after somebody else's beloved pets. So today's um, live is about how to make um, a pitch without being a sleaze bag. And we've just been... Um, you know, like I said, we've just been next door to do the open house and it's a, you know, an $800,000 house. It has four bedrooms, two bathrooms only, two toilets and a very poxy kitchen, um, very poxy lounge room for the whole family. It actually only has the one lounge room, which is kind of surprising. And the main feature of the house is the beautiful back deck and the beautiful um, trees in the garden with, you know, at the moment, gorgeous grassy area. So it's quite a decent sized backyard. And we're literally a couple of streets away from the beach here in northern Brisbane in Brighton. So, you know, the area is great if you like the beach, if you like, um, you know, um, walking along the beach, taking your pets down there. But really, when you think about the price tag, it's kind of crazy for what you get in exchange. And it made me think about the business, you know, our business. We have, you know, our business is always got open house on. The moment you present yourself, you market yourself, and you're selling, you've got an open house for your business. So how are you presenting your facade how are you presenting your interior you know the interior the bedrooms the kitchen the lounge rooms the decks the toilets this is the stuff that you're giving your clients after they have paid you money so is your interior flash is it stunning is it clean or is it messy cluttered there's no clear streamlined kind of layout to it which means your delivery um, has a lot to be desired you're not delivering on time you're not delivering what you promised clients so think about your business as an open house and make sure it is presented the right way not just before the sale happens but also after the sale has taken place, which is far more important for your reputation, for the love notes you will get from raving fans and clients, because that is what's gonna bring you repeat clients. And this is exactly um, what I'll teach you with the live that I just did in my group um, to show you how you can actually use stories to present offers to your people. So if you want to know how to do that without being a sleaze bag, then click on the link um, in the description. I think it's above the video and join our group. It is free and you're going to get tons of value in there. But obviously that is the open house, right? I'm sharing that with you now. And then once you're in the house, in the tribe, you will see that happening. All right, so I look forward to seeing you in there. Um, click the link, ask to join, and I will see you in there. Have a great weekend, and I'll catch you tomorrow.